Hi, and welcome to another episode of Helping Hands Craft Corner. My name is Laura, and today we're going to be making a snowman. And I know what you're thinking, Laura, it's the middle of the summer. Where are we going to find snow? Well, we're going to get creative and make our own snow, and the best part is it's not cold. <laughs> so, you're going to need a box of baking soda, just a one pound box. We're going to empty this all into a bowl. And then, ooh, I see a little cloud of baking soda going there. And then we're going to open up a new can of shaving cream. Um, you only will need about half of a can, so if you just have like half of a can left over in your house, you could use that. Um, or like I said, you can grab one. Um, and we're just going to start by filling up. Our bowl with shaving cream. Woo! Okay, hope you guys can see that. So, bottom layer is baking soda, and then we have all of our foam on top. And then we're just going to take our hands and start mixing it. Ooh, it's nice and messy. <laughs> Smells good though. So you don't want to put too much shaving cream in in the beginning. You want to kind of air on the lower side. Um, because you want it to get to a point where it's flaky. So I'm having to dig down to the bottom to find all that baking soda and mix in the cream with it. Wow. <laughs> it's quite messy. I still have some dry powder or baking soda down there. So I'm trying to move it up to the top here. As a additional fun element to this craft, if you have some glitter, especially like a white or a kind of clear glitter, um, you can add that and make it nice and sparkly as well. But, you know, glitter kind of sticks to everything, so you'd have to have a designated space for that. It's starting to come together now. <laughs> it's a little more calm. And I'm still just trying to fold that powder up to the top. So it can get mixed in with the foam. You can see we started out with quite a bit but it has reduced down in size, so you know you could always play with the different amounts if you didn't want to use a whole box, but I think you'll want to use a whole box of baking soda so you have enough to kind of really play with. Okay, that was just about, just about perfect. Okay, now this snow is pretty good. I am going to, um, excuse the dog, excuse the dog, hey. I am going to um, just 
rub off your <laughs> hands really quickly. There we go. So I can get a good grip and start to make my snowman. Okay. Sticking together pretty nicely now. Kind of like real snow. Oh, look at that. There's one little ball. If you want to get really creative, you can find little tiny but, um, buttons or you can use little pieces of food like I know mustard seeds look kind of like a button. You can kind of cut off the end of a carrot and put that on your snowman for the nose, of course. Anything that you have around your house that you could use to decorate it is fine. It would be great. And your your snowballs might break. They're pretty fragile, so I mean, you know, like that. Um, it's a practice in patience. And again, like I said, if it's really just too flaky, add some more shaving cream. And I think I'll just do that now. Just a little bit. Okay, there, it's making together much better. My hands are more messy, but the, the ball is staying together. Okay, almost done. Here's the final ball for his head. And I'm going to move the camera so you can see my Little snowman, where is he? Ah, okay. There, see? Isn't that fun? You can decorate him with some buttons, a little hat and a nose. All in the middle of the summer. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll be seeing you guys later.